Hey everyone, this is a video for Unit 4, Lesson 2. This video is from the notes, and it's examples 4 through 6. The first problem says a negative, parentheses 5x plus 1 minus 7 equals negative 28. So, as you've seen in the last video, what needs to happen is I need to simplify each side before I start moving things. So to do that, I need to get rid of these parentheses. So to do that, I need to distribute the negative through. So it's like there's a negative 1 there. So negative times 5x would be negative 5x. Negative times 1 would be negative 1. Minus 7 equals negative 28. Now I still have simplifying on this side to do because negative 1 and negative 7 will go together. So that will be negative 5x minus 8 equals negative 28. So to get x by itself now, there's nothing else I can simplify over here nor here. So I have to start moving these things away and I have to move negative 5 and negative 8. The first thing I need to move is the negative 8 and how I get rid of that, or this is really subtracting 8. So how I get rid of that is I add 8 to both sides. When I do that, this piece can go away, and I'm left with negative 5x equals, and negative 28 plus 8 would be negative 20. Divide that by negative 5 to get rid of the negative 5, and I would get x equals 4. Now I'll go back and check that by plugging it in, so I'd have negative excuse me, negative parentheses 5 and then plug the 4 in, plus 1, minus 7 equals negative 28. So I'd have negative, and this would be 20 plus 1, and this would be negative 21 minus 7, and that would indeed equal negative 28. So negative 28 equals negative 28, that's a true statement. Therefore this is the correct solution. Right, the next problem says 8m plus 5 equals 12m plus 17. So look at each side. Nothing will go together on each side. 8m and 5 won't go together because one has an m and one doesn't. And the same argument for over here. So now I have to get variables together on one side and numbers together on the other. So what I try to do is I try to move my variables first. So to get this to move, I could subtract 8m from both sides. Now does it matter which one you move? No, I'll show you why in just a second. But for now, let's subtract 8m. So when I do that, 8m minus 8m would go away, and I would be left with 5 over there and 12m minus 8m would be 4m over here, and the 17 would come down. So now I would take away 17 from both sides because now I want to get this m by itself. So to get the m by itself, I would move this piece and this piece. So to get rid of the addition first, I would subtract 5 minus 17 would be a negative 12. And to get that m by itself, I would get rid of that 4 by division and get negative 3 equals m. If I would have done this a different way by saying, let's move the 12m over by subtraction, you don't have to do it both ways. I'm just showing you that if you did move it, it would work out the same. This side would be negative 4m, and plus 5 would be there. 12m minus 12m would go away, and I would get 17. And then I would need to get m by itself, so I would have to subtract 5 and get negative 4m equals 12 divided by negative 4, and I will get m equals negative 3. So either way you do it, you get m equals negative 3. 
Just be careful with moving things. Make sure you're moving it correctly and you should be okay. All right, if I go ahead and check that, I'm going to check that over here. So 8 times negative 3 plus 5 would equal 12 times negative 3 plus 17. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24 plus 5 equals, this is negative 36 plus 17. Negative 24 plus 5 would be negative 19. And negative 36 plus 17 would be negative 19 as well. So I have a true statement here, therefore this is the correct answer. And the last one, number 6, says 3 times r minus 7 plus 2r equals 5 plus 4. So first thing I have to do is simplify each side. So when I'm simplifying each side, on the left side I would need to take the 3 through the parentheses. So I'd have 3r minus 21 plus 2r equals, so I just distributed the 3 through. The 3 does not go to the 2r because it's not in parentheses. And then on the right side, 5 plus 4, those, neither one have variables, so I could put those together and say that that was 9. Now this side I could simplify a little bit more. If you notice, the 3r and the 2r will go together, and that would give me 5r, and minus 21 would still be there as well. Now to start getting that r by itself, the first thing I would do is add 21, and I would get 5r equals 30. Divide by 5, divide by 5, and I would get r equals 6. Go ahead and check that, plugging that in. So I'd have 3 times 6 minus 7 plus 2 times 6 equals 5 plus 4. That's 3 times negative 1 plus 2 times 6 equals 5 plus 4. I want to go ahead and change that to 9. This is going to be negative 3 plus 12. Negative 3 plus 12 would be 9. So I get a true statement, therefore this is the correct answer. So that's the answer for number 6. I hope that helped.